Hey everybody, welcome to the Witness Underground podcast. I'm in Panama City for my last couple of days before I head to an interesting event for podcasting called PodFest. It's the 10th year of the PodFest. It's more of an educational type event. I'm not quite sure what to expect, but the company we're using to host the podcast, Buzzsprout, is one of the big sponsors for this fest this year. And they said they'd comp my ticket because I'm on their platform, which is awesome. Excited to go there, so I decided to wrap up my time in Panama. It was a week in Panama City, two weeks in Bocas del Toro, and I'm back for a week in Panama City. Had an awesome time here. Just had a big celebration in the old quarter yesterday for the Chinese New Year, which is interesting and, I guess, sort of something I care about after living in Asia for five years. I have a lot of friends in Vietnam and China who it's the biggest holiday of the year. It's really a combination of Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's all in one. And it starts off with the holiday and then seven days of family things and travel. And I always enjoyed my time there during that time, usually went on a big trip. Anyways, that was cool to see a Chinese New Year celebration and have all these different Asian cultures come out to sell food and do performances and make a big event. Yeah, but Panama City's been great. I went to Valle de Anton. It's near Chame Beach, it's like an hour and a half away, I guess two and a half hours to the valley, with um, Pozos Termales. It's this thermal pools that are more like mineral pools, they're not very hot, but it felt really great just hanging out in the beautiful cooler weather, still pretty hot. And this couple was there that offered us vibrational acupuncture, where they hit this basically a tuning fork on their hand and then put it on your bones, like going from head to toe slowly over 30 minutes. And it felt incredible. It felt transformative in this, like I was so incredibly relaxed. It was like a half an hour deep meditation massage. We didn't touch a single muscle, but my whole body felt deeply relaxed. It was really interesting. Um, So that was really cool. I've been doing a lot of work on getting the podcast set up to distribute properly. So we are officially on iHeartRadio and we're officially on Spotify now. Those are live. There's a few more that are coming. I'll announce those in the next update. A big thing that I want to do before the film release is kind of rebrand the project in entirely. It started out very generic, which was XJW Documentary on YouTube and then XJW Doc, short for documentary, on every other platform, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. And... That project still exists. It's still going. I still have two seasons to edit and release. Season three will be related to the film. and I'll be putting those out this year when it makes sense for people want to have more information about the people in the film and their stories. For me, it didn't make sense to have this name be the, the leading name for the project. And instead, I've changed the channel name on YouTube to Witness Underground. I've changed the branding in general on let's see on instagram and on facebook to at witness underground the website is witnessunderground.com there you have the film the series the podcast the blog it's all one overarching idea which is the underground within the religion and the activist resistance movement on the outside it's growing and i have a lot of new episodes coming which i'm really excited about the website is revamped which i'm really stoked to have something that just looks nice it's coherent it has all the information about all the projects there and most importantly right now would be this first quarter of the year we're doing the artist grant for a thousand dollars i want to go through who has submitted already i won't name them but i will give an idea of what people are submitting and we want to get as many as possible just to see what's out there and give someone the grant money that is going to make something really powerful so hopefully this peaks your curiosity and if you know an artist please let them know this is going on we're going to release the money when the film comes out to make a big impact for the film release that first submission they say in their application i've recently written an album of songs with an alt rock professional and released three tracks i have others from 20 years ago that also like to produce many are from my anger struggles and freedom after leaving the jehovah's witnesses i'm also about to release my second book Now they need funding to make their product successfully. Asking for the full amount of the money. Anyone who's submitting, you don't have to ask for the full amount. Of course, I'm sure everyone wants the full amount. But if you really just only need, like, a microphone or you're looking for equipment that's going to be, like, $300, that leaves $700 for some other artist. 
And I'm sure most people are just going to ask the full thousand, but just the idea of like the spirit of the project is to encourage artists. You need the thousand to do it. Great. If you think you can do it with less, let me know. And then we can make a smaller grant offer to others or possibly give a portion of the money to someone else. Okay. The second one is video short timeshare cult. I love this idea. Okay. I'd like to make a short on a couple that goes to a timeshare, but thinks it might be a cult. I want to demonstrate the psychology and similarities of joining a cult and going to a timeshare presentation, etc. It will be a drama and comedy as well as cerebral. I need money for seven days of filming on location. 600 is for costume and audio rentals for a week. 200 for gas and food for the location. The full thousand, I can make this happen because I have zero funding. If I get the funding by February, the project will be done by June. I usually do music videos. I've won some awards for my music videos. Cool. Just to clarify on that, and I have since updated the website on this, the date for getting the money, the, the grant being completed, and we put the, give the money to someone will be when the film is out. And that date, our target date is April 4th. There's a number of things that may adjust that. It hopefully will be before that because I want to capitalize on the Jehovah's Witnesses knocking on people's doors and talking about this topic. The reaction of some people will be to Google with this religion. And ideally, this film will be well advertised and marketed in a way that if they do Google it, it will show up as something to watch. And then they can learn about it from some other source than the URL that the religion likes to give everyone. Of course, there's tons of other information about the religion. But I want the film to get as many people as possible using the footwork of the religious slaves. Okay, and the third and most recent submission is Cartoon Characterist, which I think is interesting. I'll be attending music festivals this summer and drawing caricatures. I wasn't allowed to go to university to study art. I wasn't allowed to go to quote-unquote worldly festivals. Now I will do both. I was an elder. Now I'm older and free. $1,000. Awesome. I love the variety. We've got a short film, we've got cartoon characterist, and we have music production and a book. So I believe the first one, they're looking for funding for all of their creative projects. So it would be author, vocalist, and songwriter, which is cool. So it's sort of this money will enable them to do all those things. The second one is the short film about the timeshare comedy, dramedy, drama comedy, and cerebral I think that's so fun. And this cartoon character sounds like an empowering thing to do for the year, this new year. I like all those ideas. I would like all of them to happen. Hopefully they all will, regardless of who gets the money. Hopefully we'll be able to follow all of them. And my plan is actually to see if they'd like to come on to the podcast before we award the money and describe their idea so we get a more full uh, idea of what they want to do and why. I think that's really interesting. And then, of course, I will make a little video that goes into depth with these people if they're willing to share more deeply and then put the ideas out on our Patreon to the patrons to allow them to vote on what they think. If you want to be involved in this project in a small way um, in terms of voting and having your, your ideas heard about who should get the money, then join the Patreon for a dollar or more. I appreciate everyone tuning in. I'll be at PodFest in Orlando. So if you're listening to this and you live in that Orlando area, hit me up. We can meet up after or during the event if you want to. I will be in Los Angeles working on the final post-production to put it out. And it's really important that that happens very soon. So I'm dedicating the first week or two of February to make the final changes to credits. There's one song I need to replace with a Ryan Sutter new original song that he wrote for the film. And then I'm actually going to be hiring an audio person to make a 5.1 mix that will be for the Blu-ray, the DVD, and the streaming platforms and to create the sound files that are required for quality control. So all of this is very exciting to finally be able to put the thing out and then focus 100% on the marketing strategy for the release, which is something like a 90-day post every day, some kind of advertisements, reaching different communities, getting on every podcast possible. Any help with that? I'm all ears. I'd love to hear what podcast you think I should be on. I did ask chat GTP what the best atheist podcasts were. I'd love to hear what you think for podcasts to reach new people. There's a Reddit post ongoing about like how to market this documentary. If you want to get on the Reddit, the subreddit for XJW, EXJW. It's really popular. There's like 60,000 people on there. Uh, one note on the grant. One reason I want to do that is because there's a lot of activism in YouTube channels and podcasts on this topic. And they all have a different angle and a different perspective, which is great. The more voices, the better. Different kinds of activism. I think they're all valid. Whatever you feel like is good for you or good for the community or good for the resistance, do what you think needs to happen. 
I'm an advocate for all of them. And I'd like to hear what you think of the different ones and different ways of people's activism. I feel this entire project is a form of activism, but it's something that I want it to be refreshing and empowering. That's why I think focusing on artists is important. But also, a lot of these groups are asking for money, and there's I see a lot of controversy in some of the threads and Reddit posts and channels about what those people are doing with that money. So I want to turn things around a little bit by offering 20% of everything that this film makes as something that goes back into the community as like a goodwill to the community. I'm starting out with my own money, putting that into the community in this grant. And hopefully I can keep doing that. I don't have endless money, but this project has a Patreon. The artists that are involved are selling their music and their merchandise through the website, through their own channels on Bandcamp and otherwise. I'm trying to consolidate that all to the art page on our website, on witnessunderground.com, for a place to buy music. Right now there are three albums you can buy there. And those go directly to the artist. But I will set it up at some point soon. So everything that you can buy related to this movie, this podcast, and this project in general, 20% of every sale will all go to the grant. And there'll be an ongoing grant. So this is the first one. Once things start rolling, we'll do another one. Maybe you can do like two a year or something, sort of like a film festival. It's one a year, but we can do a couple times a year to keep some momentum and some energy and see new artists in the space doing something that is empowering that not only do they benefit from, but we all get to watch, listen, view their art and then talk about it. And hopefully it changes people's way of seeing the world and seeing this religion slash cult. It's a cult. Subscribe, like on YouTube, at Witness Underground on YouTube, witnessunderground.com. There's a pop-up to subscribe to our regular newsletter. I'll do one every time a podcast episode comes out or an update that you get an email, that's it. Just a simple email saying, hey, here's a new podcast episode, or hey, here's a new update. I will definitely be updating anything related to the film release. Don't expect to be bombarded by ridiculous ads. Thanks again. Check out witnessunderground.com.